Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about some more Doctor Who books, and these are the Dark Smith Legacy. And um, the ones I have, again they're both library books, are book number one, which is The Dust of Ages by Justin Richards, and book number five, which is The Vampire of Paris um, by Stephen Cole. Now these are part of a series, which is kind of weird because I've never really read books where the story continues. I think there are about ten of them. Um, granted, I've read two. And um, first of all, they look really attractive. They are from David Zira. Um, as you can see, he is actually incredibly gorgeous, as always. Um, and they have the logo on and things. And you'll see there on the spine that if you have the lot, they actually will make up the whole Doctor Who logo, which I think is kind of cool. Um, and what it is about is it's um, well, I'll just um, it, it's kind of weird how to explain it because it's about um. Well, it's about the Darksmith legacy. It's about a gem that's gone missing and they have to find out where and why and, you know, all these things. It's like a sort of mystery. Kind of like a Scooby-Doo thing. It's gone missing. They have to find out who took it, which planet is it on. You know, it could be anywhere. Obviously, the further along in the books you go, you find out more clues and things. So it's like an extended mystery. You know, you read one book and then you're still ha you still haven't found the answer to the problem. So you're going to read the next book. And you still haven't found the answer, so you're going to read the next book and the next book and the next book. It's a really clever marketing technique, to be honest. But the way it's laid out is really quite interesting. It's not really the plot that I find fascinating. Um, so you see here, that it is for younger children. Um, the text is quite large compared to some of the other books. So it's, I'm not the target audience, but I'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, so the Doctor, in the first book, he, he lands on the moon. The first one is set on the moon. And then you have a little fact file about the moon. Um, and then you have more story, and then you have an activity, so you can write in the book. Obviously I cannot, it's a library book, but I wouldn't anyway, I wouldn't deface a book. And then you have more story, and then you have another activity. So it's both interactive and um, reading, so it does add to the education side of it, it does um, give children more involvement, um, it breaks it up, so if children don't like reading a lot in one go, it does break it up for them. But it's even more interactive than that because while you're while you're actively trying to solve the mystery by reading the book, you can also go online, which is the dark, darksmithlegacy.com, which I had a quick look at, where there's activities and games and things on there for you to be even more involved and help you solve the mystery. Um, I, I don't know, I don't know, um, I don't know the answer to the mystery. I cannot tell you that because I've read one and five, um, but I will tell you now that I will not be reading the rest of them to find out. While they're good for the target audience, which I'd say is about 8 to 12, 8 to 13 maybe, for the mature reader, for a Doctor Who fan, they're not that good. There's not much Doctor Who terminology in them. There's some scientific words, but it's not incredibly difficult for children, you know? Like, they may have to ask, what's that? But they will be able to understand it. It's not like, if you've read the actual Doctor Who novella books, you'll know they're quite difficult if you're not uh, a fan of the show. For this one, you can get your head around fairly easily. Um, so like I said, I'm not going to be reading them myself. So if you're a mature fan, um, they're not really going to be for you. But if you're a younger reader, or you're maybe not a confident reader, but you still want to enjoy Doctor Who books and don't think you can tackle the novellas yet, these will be ideal. I'm um, RRP'd at 4 99 each. Um, but like I said, I got them in the library. I don't really... I don't think I'd ever bother buying these because I don't think they're that good for me, as I said. But if you're wanting them and you do want to write in them and things and do the activities in them, then obviously go and buy them because you can't do that with a library book. Um, but they are definitely worth looking into if you're a younger reader. They are fantastic um, for the target audience. I know you get other storybooks for the younger readers, but because these give you loads more, you know, you have the, um, the activities in the books, you have the website, you have all this involvement, it just adds to the educational value, and I think it is great. The quality of the writing is brilliant. Um, as I said, it is actually very little about the plot itself, and more about the fact that you want to find out what's happening. Um, you know, the plot itself is kind of basic, something goes missing, find out who. The fact that it's extended over, like I said, I think it's about 10 books, I'm not sure exactly. Um, yeah, I think so. Um, the fact that it's extended over is a good marketing technique, because it makes you want to go and buy the books until you find out the problem. We meet loads of characters along the way, and you can jump from book 1 to book 5, because at the beginning there is a 
story so far, a very brief summary of what's happened in the previous four books in case you haven't read it. But of course it is better to go book one, book two, book three, book four. But never mind, it's not really a problem if you only have, like I said, just a couple of them. Um, but feel free to leave comments and things and let me know your thoughts. Maybe you've read these and maybe you like them, I don't know. Like I said, I don't personally think they're for a mature or Doctor Who fan, but um, never mind. But at the end of the day, if you like them, that's all that counts. If you think you're comfortable reading them, that's great. Um, I encourage reading in any form. Um, but please feel free to leave comments and requests and things on any types of videos or specific Doctor Who ones. Um, but yeah, until next time, I will see you later. Bye guys.